First, I'd like to give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, double honors to the apostles and others, the great millstone, and shallow on to all the brothers out there doing the work of the city and truth, man. So, yeah, man, I'm just here watching um, a damn uh, comedy, uh, comedy damn special or some shit. But it shows, this, what I'm about to show y'all, brothers, is really showing you that this um, people knowing about the mark of the beast is, um, is being well known out here, man. All right? So, um, let me show you what I'm, what I'm talking about. I can't tell you. You know, I think, I think they're getting ready to, like, microchip all of us. I'm not even joking, dude. Have you seen that new Duracell commercial where that woman can't find her kid in the park? You know, dude, what kind of a fucked up way is that to sell batteries? It's a little hardcore, don't you think? Don't you remember the old battery commercials? They showed some guy in a rain store, right? Changing a tire, takes out a flashlight. Oh, thank God I had Duracell. I can see how wet I'm getting. That was it. Now they're showing this woman she can't find her kid in the park. She's sitting there like, Kevin? Kevin? Has anybody seen Kevin? Sitting there freaking out that she pulls out this device. And then all of a sudden Kevin comes running out of the woods. And then just like, Duracell batteries. It's like, dude, fuck the batteries. What was that thing she just took out of her pocket? How did Kevin know to come out of the woods? He didn't have an antenna, his sneakers weren't glowing. What the fuck is in Kevin that is connected to that? So don't just show me that like that's normal. Ah, oh, yeah, remote control kids. Ah, I must go see mommy. Dude, that is some creepy New World Order shit. Evidently, it's a bracelet, and they just put the microchip in there. But that's how they're going to do it. They're going to scare the shit out of you that someone's going to take your kid. Ah, it's just a bracelet. But what if they take the bracelet? Oh, we'll just glue it to the forehead. Ah, we'll just sort of drill it in there. I'm telling you, whatever they're doing to dogs, they're going to be doing to us in like 10 years, right? They got those... Yeah, so just seeing that little uh, comedy special, man, showing you that these celebrities and everybody now are now coming to the um, realization that the government is going to chip them, man, all right? So with this, I'm going to get the, script, get the scripture real fast. This is uh, Revelation, chapter 13, verse 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the, or the name of the, of the beast, or the, or the number of his name. Yeah, man. So yeah, when we go into that word mark, in the, um, in the Greek, it's karagma, man, which means an incision, or, or an implant, or incision under the skin, man. And what, um, what this, you know, comedian <laughs> basically was telling the people, he said it in a joking manner, but he was so he was serious, man. So it just come to a point where they're going to be chipping the people and having commercials out here where they're going to make it normalized, man. All right? So, yeah, man, you know, I just want to um, show that video, man, and, uh, you know, just spark my spirit to make this little video and everything about it, about the market of beats, man. It's coming, and people know about it, man. It's, it's becoming a um, worldwide known thing that this is about to happen, all right? So I'm going to read the scripture one, one last time before I close out, man, all right? This is Revelations 13 and 16. He causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark. Or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. All right, man. So with that, you know, hope brothers was edified and everything, showing that hey, man, the mark of the beast is coming, man. All right. So with that, give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, double honesty, apostles and elders, a great millstone, and Shalom to all the brothers out there doing his work in sincerity and truth. Shalom, and don't be faint.